In this video, I'm going to demonstrate this fella, which is a very dirty Garrett Pro Pointer. Takes a little 9 volt battery in here, on off switch. There, switches it on and off. And it's got a blade here for scraping through your muck and also a light for nighttime use if you want to go night hawking. I'll just demonstrate its usefulness in the air first of all. This is a little one pence that I found before. Here's the pro pointer. Switch it on away from any source of metal. I'll demonstrate how that works in the real world by digging up this target. Hopefully it'll be a decent target, it's making a reasonable signal, so we'll give it a go and see what turns up. I've dug too deep, <laughs> which tells us that this is probably either a one pence or an old half pence. It often gives a strange depth reading, but targets in here somewhere. Helps if you have it switched on. <laughs> and there we have a one pence, which I could have found hell of a lot earlier if I'd actually had this thing switched on. So that demonstrates its usefulness quite nicely. And this dig's going to show how it should be done when you have the pro pointer switched on. quickly tells me that we've got some rusty crap giving us the signal and pass the coil over just to check there's nothing else still in there it's telling me that there is still something in there And it's a penny.
just trash left around there. So we'll fill it in. And on to the next one. As you've seen, this helps you recover targets a hell of a lot quicker than if you didn't have a pointer of any sort. You'd have to resort to pulling out the stuff you're digging out, passing it over your coil or keep passing the coil over your excavation, which is very frustrating and time consuming. This speeds up the process no end, providing you do have it switched on. That always helps. It's washable, so I tend not to wash mine because I'm a messy bugger, but um, you can pass this under the tap. I doubt it'll be fully waterproof, but it's certainly splash proof, rain proof, and cleaning proof as well. As long as you clean it with running water under your tap. Good scrub, brings it up nice. Especially if you're in mineralized soil, you don't want soil which might have a metal content sticking to here because it'll give you false readings. Overall, 10 out of 10.